The Senate began debate on the annual report to Parliament by the President on the State of National Security, with Majority Leader Kithure Kindiki revealing that the government is considering drastic measures that could see top security chiefs bear personal responsibility for the increase in crimes in their areas of jurisdiction. Everybody should be put on performance contracts, including security chiefs, so that we give you a job as Inspector General, as uh, OCS, as OSPD, and we tell you, we want this uh, a reduction of crime within this period of time. And if we, you don't move from point A to point B, then you have no job. That way, we can have individual responsibility on this important issue. At the same time, he pointed out the need for Parliament to ensure additional funding for the security docket to enable the government to purchase modern equipment to combat crime, adding that plans are being finalized to launch a forensic lab. Within a month, the President will be launching the construction, finally, of a forensic laboratory so that we can have a database which we can use to track uh, people involved in crime. Contributing to the debate, a section of senators led by CIA Senator James Arango termed the ongoing security operations in part of the country as populist as they cautioned against the targeting of particular individuals. To uh, make sure that uh, even in security operations we go by the constitution. Because, you know, I think some of these measures that are being put in place may be popular the people may, for the moment, because of the insecurity, say that is what must be done. Uh, but I think one day we may live to regret. The debate comes just today after the government launched a 100-day rapid assault initiative to fight insecurity that includes a massive crackdown to nab criminals and illegal migrants in the country. The operation dubbed Usalama Watch has attracted criticism from a section of Muslim leaders led by National Assembly Majority Leader Eden Dwale who are accusing the government of religious profiling.